Hey, LAG family and friends, I have an important announcement I need to make. Please stick with me through this entire video. The last eight months of walking through the COVID-19 pandemic has been difficult for every person that I know. It's changed the way we do life from work, business, schools, church, and even in our homes. As leaders, we realize that every decision that we make has an effect. and Not everyone will agree with the choices that we must make, but at the end of the day, Leaders must lead and shepherds are called to protect. This week, our leadership team had to make a difficult decision based on a COVID exposure this past Sunday in our worship service. Please rest assured that every person that was in direct contact with the individual uh, was informed by our leadership team. After consulting with our county health department, we've made the decision to uh, suspend our in-person services for 14 days from the initial exposure. This will include our Wednesday services tonight, uh, October 14th, and next Wednesday night, October 21st, as well as our Sunday morning service uh, this upcoming Sunday, October 18th. This decision was made uh, to protect both our church and the communities that we are a part of. The good news is we have some amazing technology at our disposal and we'll still have an online service this uh, upcoming Sunday and our team will have some lessons for both our children and our youth. If there are no further positive uh, cases affecting the church, we'll resume our services on Sunday, October 25th. Uh, this is the day that we've set aside to honor Pastor Sharon and her family for her 15 years of ministry at LAG. Having said all this, let me share a couple more thoughts. First, as followers of Christ, listen, we're not called to shame or gossip about any individuals who've been diagnosed with COVID-19. This virus is hard enough physically on those people who have been infected. They certainly do not need any more emotional trauma based on unnecessary accusations and allegations. Secondly, we are a full gospel church with our roots based in Pentecost and our foundation on the cross of Jesus Christ. We believe in the entirety of scripture and our tenets of faith Bring us to a place where we still believe in a miracle working God who heals today. If this pandemic has done anything in my personal life is to continue to stand on the promises of scripture and believe for God to heal our family and our friends. Finally, let's do everything that we can to maintain the culture of our church. We have been and will continue to be a relational church and i want to continue to ask you to pursue intentional relationships with people both in our church and outside of our church whether we meet in our in the building whether we meet in our homes or whether we're uh, in a position where we are going to meet our online our mission has been based on the two greatest commands that christ gave us to love god and to love our neighbors and those two relationships are paramount in everything that we do and everything that we are as a church and we know this virus has affected both of those relationships let me remind you of this thought as i get ready to finish up this video jesus christ said himself that the gates of Hades will not prevail against his church. And that also includes COVID-19. I want to end by reading you a passage out of Psalms chapter 25 uh, and it's verses one through five. And this Psalm is about trust and hope. Oh Lord, I give my life to you. I trust in you, my God. Do not let me be disgraced or let my enemies rejoice in my defeat. No one who trusts in you will ever be disgraced, but disgrace comes to those who try to deceive others. Show me the right path, O Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Lead me by your truth and teach me, for you are the God who saves me all day long. I put my hope in you.
God bless. We'll see you online and we'll see you back in person on Sunday, October 25th.